Reborn as a vending machine, now I wander the dungeon. Fun fact, there was one time when Tokyo's pollution was so bad that they actually had to have vending machines for fresh air. People had to pay for this. If that doesn't interest you at all, I'd skip this one. So, it's right as it says on the tin. This dude gets isekai and he's a vending machine because he's obsessed with vending machines because vending machines do a lot of things in Japan. Ooh. So, obviously design-wise, he... Yeah, they literally just slap the eyes onto an actual vending machine. Design-wise, this anime doesn't have much going for it. There was one moment where they had these things, these creatures called dog bears, and it's like, yeah, those definitely look like dogs mixed with bears. And that's it. The monster designs are really lame. The personalities are okay. The characters are fine. It's just... It's not all that nice to look at unless, again, you're really into or interested at all in how many types of vending machines there are in the world. But what the main character does with his vending machine stuff, it does get interesting. He does get very creative with how he defeats monsters, deals with situations. Like, I did not think that a jukebox counted as a vending machine, but technically it is a vending machine. It's... You know, a thing that's there, you put money into it, it doesn't need anything to, doesn't need an employee to manage it, it's just there for people to use, so I guess it does count. But aside from that, it's your typical isekai in another world, so if you just haven't watched an isekai in a while and you just want something, you could do far worse, you know, you could do far worse, it's just, it's not all that pleasing to look at, that's all I gotta say. There's not much to the plot, there's... Hints that he can become human again, there's... I will say there's one few moments here and there where... Because as a vending machine, he can't talk. All he can do is use very certain phrases like... Yidashaimasen! Which is welcome, but uh, the subtitles say hello there. <laughs> uh, but sometimes he will use, he will combine the phrases like using... Yidashaimasen! Which... I felt like it had been a bit more creative with that, but it's very obvious someone was just in the studio was just like, hey, let's do this. Okay. Don't know if they did it in the manga or not, because that also requires some creativity with the kanji, obviously. Ugh. But would I recommend this overall? Sure. Like I said, the, the characters aren't bad. The characters aren't bad at all. It's just there's a lot of them. There's a lot of side characters. There's a lot of... Not main characters, but... Phew. Like, when it does do something nice, like there's an episode where the Archer girl here, she reveals where she came from. She came from a orphanage that turned just to kids whose parent adventurers, parents who were adventurers didn't come back. And that was nice. I was like, hey, some world building. I like it. And then that's all we get. That's the, that's the best world building we get. So just... If you're really tired one morning, munching on breakfast, and you just want some nonsense on in the background, this this could be some good nonsense in the background here. Oh, I preached at the end. This has never happened before. Okay, let's start scrolling back up. Oh, that's spoilers. Uh, but yes, this was all right. I saw it on trending, and yeah, it's it's fine. It's a it's a harmless isekai with the theme of vending machines. When it does get creative, it does get very creative. Ugh. And, again, if you are interested in vending machines or you just want some dumb trivia about vending machines, like what kind of types there are in the world, ugh. then, yeah, it's it's fine. That's all I can say is that this is fine. The main girl is absolutely adorable, but she's pretty bland, but when she's adorable, she can be very adorable. Like, there's one moment where she even notices that when the main character is thinking about something or something's troubling him, the light on his vending machine starts to flicker a bit, which I thought was a nice detail. Like, even I didn't notice that. I was like, wow. So yeah, when it, it is good, it's good, but for the most part, it's... It's okay. It's your typical isekai with a spin. And the spin is the main character hasn't got legs and he'll, he can only speak in certain phrases, but he can spawn as many things as possible as long as people pay for it. Uh, but anyway, ugh, that's all I gotta say about this. It's nice. Check it out if you are at least a bit curious. If not, I'd skip it. 
Uh, until next time. Bye 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 b